Hello, and welcome to this uh, tutorial for the eSmart Class Learning Management System Upgrades. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about registering a new account on eSmart Class. So, we will get started uh, by first entering the URL address that will appear on your screen. Uh, so, follow that URL address to get to this page. And when you get to the, this page, you'll see at the upper right hand corner, the login button. We'll click the login button that will take us to the login screen uh, and you can hit sign up. So click sign up and this will give you two options. The first option is the teacher's account. Uh, and which is going to be the most common account that you're probably going to use. Uh, we also have a student account, uh, but we will talk about this in just a moment. Let's start with the teacher's account. So to begin registering, you click on the teacher sign up button at the bottom of the screen. And here you will need to enter all of the information that is required. Any required information will have a check. Uh, a check mark next to it. So you'll need an ID, a password, uh, your name, your email, your country, and your phone number. So once you have all of this information entered, please click I'm not a robot down here to prove that you are human uh, and read all of our terms and conditions and agree to them. Uh, you can agree to everything or you can choose not to uh, receive emails about training information. Uh, that's totally up to you. You'll notice here you do not have to put in school information if you don't want to. And at the time of registration, if you do not put the name of your school here, you can always add it later when you go and edit your profile on your account. Uh, please make sure that you check your email carefully because your email will be needed if you forget your ID or your password. So if you do not enter your email correctly or you forget the email associated with your account, you will not be able to find your ID or password very easily. So please be aware of that. Now, to talk about the student page, uh, student registration. So student registration is a little bit different. We would only be using this if we are a student who is studying independently. And that's because your teacher, if you are studying with a teacher at school or at an, a language center or a language academy, uh, your teacher will be responsible for creating the accounts for each student in their class. Uh, and then your teacher will give you, uh, give each student their ID and password. Uh, if, but if you are a student that is studying independently, then you can use uh, this registration function to sign up uh, because you don't have a teacher with you. Uh, the sign up and registration is pretty much the same thing. Uh, you'll need an ID, password, your name, email address, uh, and prove that you're not a robot. You will also need to agree to the terms and conditions, and then you're good to go. Uh, but again, remember, this is for uh, only for students that are studying independently. Um, your teacher, if you are working with a teacher, your teacher will be responsible for creating your account information. Uh, in our next video, we will look at how to add students to a class and how to set up a class.